Hello, this is Stuart Taylor. Welcome to lecture number six, Attack Surface. Any risk management plan should include an assessment of the attack surface. So what does attack surface actually mean? Simply put, it is all of the methods and opportunities that an attacker can use against you. The larger the attack surface, the greater the risk to your organization. Understanding your attack surface and reducing it where possible are both desirable things to achieve. To calculate your attack surface, you need to evaluate three areas, applications, network, and employees. Application attack surface, the considerations for which would be the amount of code contained within an application. The more code there is, the more errors there are likely to be. The number of data inputs to the application. The number of running services, are they all necessary? The number and type of ports the application listens on. Network attack surface considerations would be your overall network design and the topology of your network, the placement of critical systems such as firewalls etc, firewall rule sets and other security systems that you might have deployed including intrusion detection and intrusion prevention systems, virtual private networks and so on. Employee attack surface considerations include the risk of social engineering, the potential for human error, and the risk of malicious behaviour. Only when you've evaluated these areas will you understand the extent of your attack surface, the level of the exposure that you have, where your vulnerabilities are, and how an attacker might exploit you. This lecture has covered the term attack surface and how to calculate your attack surface. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.